A source confirming there was a shooting outside of his home. Uh, we do not know if Drake was home at the time, and this is all happening in the wake of this ongoing feud with another artist, Kendrick Lamar. We don't know if there's a connection here just yet. Uh, we are in touch with Toronto Police to see if they can share any more on this investigation. Uh, they are staying pretty tight-lipped, but what I can also tell you, police are sharing that they are investigating a shooting in this general area uh, where we are. This is the Bridal Path neighborhood. Uh, police say they were called to the Lawrence and Bayview area at about about two in the morning. That's really close to where we are uh, at that time. That was a shooting investigation. And you guys say it must be some weirdos. It's it's whatever. Don't don't they conclude like don't. But I don't I don't I don't I don't think it it matters that much. I think it what well, even though even though an address can be public whatever. I think when you make a fucking record, it's gonna hit the millions of views, and you put somebody's fucking house on it through fucking Google Maps. I think you can see that like that that it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't it. It's a fuck. It's fucking irresponsible, brother. Like it is what and it is. Police and paramedics told us uh, a man, an adult, was rushed to hospital with serious injuries, and they were still looking for a suspect seen leaving the area. Now we've reached out to police to see. Okay, is that shooting that was clearly very close to that connected to this one? They're just not saying just yet. We expect an update on this pretty soon, especially given the attention uh, this is getting this morning uh, right now. But the latest on this breaking news: a shooting outside of Drake's home happened sometime overnight. Uh, we don't have any further details. We don't know if the artist was there but uh, this is a pretty significant police presence in this neighborhood marcia as i say this is as close as we can get i was actually in you guys are so cringe you guys are the, you, bro 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 you, you you go on on record and you go oh motherfucker this guy should die a blah, blah, blah this what the mouth fucking dumbass ovo shit and then and then you make a fucking record with his house on a fuck and through google maps as the fucking cover and then something bad happens and you go oh my god pikachu face Oh my God! No, no way! Pikachu, like, come on, bros. Just be more responsible, man. It's not. It doesn't have to be like that. Side of the the road fuck here. is wrong, man? Uh, and again, entirely blocked off by cruisers, and we can not really see from this vantage point. But our chopper overhead was able to show us uh, police in the courtyard of the home, and there's some yellow police tape up there too. Okay, you've hit a couple of key points that I wanted to follow up on. So we don't know exactly what mm -hmm. time the shooting occurred, Courtney. No, and, and we're kind of going off of the other update from Toronto Police with that suggestion that they did investigate a shooting overnight at about 2 in the morning in the, the Bayview and Lawrence area. And again, they're not saying, okay, that's close enough to hear this is the same shooting, just not yet. They're, they're staying pretty quiet on this one, so we're just waiting to get more information. But we do know this happened at the very least overnight because first thing this morning, this is yeah, true. Uh, what... Now, chat, defend it low. Go ahead, man. Do it, neighbors in this uh, Chad, residential it. area, I guess you could say this is a, a very affluent neighborhood that we're in. Um, they woke up to this heavy police presence and obviously a lot of questions about what happened to Yeah, and to that, and I know.